It's a soap product. Fascinating. Cramp, monkfish, monkfish, cramp. Miss Monkfish here is working on a kind of university homework thing about twins. Her dad's big in shampoo, so I offered her your house for the weekend and your kids as guinea pigs. Mm. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, <coughs> most kind. I, I'm sure they'll be... Uh, Delighted? Ah! Is that one of those edible hamsters? Negative. Want to do experiments to it? I can give you ideas. Wayne, I am not going to do any experiments on Patsy's hamster. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because Mom's never going to let it in the house. She might, if she doesn't know. and lift up your sweater. Get that flea-packed little jerk ball out of my house immediately. Uh, it's just for the weekend, Mom. Patsy's gone to a wedding and Orwell wasn't invited. <laughs> Good thinking, Mom. That stuff needs to on animals. <laughs> uh, hello? <laughs> we have a house guest, dear. Hmm. Fascinating. with twins. No, we're totally non-identical. Don't be rude. Leech your hands. You've been playing with animals. You know, Lucian, or Wayne, my theory is that all twins, non-identical or not, operate with a certain cultural and behavioral unity. Ow! I'm also interested in the way twins develop secret languages. Isn't he cute? And 
and such shredding power. You wouldn't want to let that loose in a library. I suppose not. Please, look around. See how totally unwain like I am. For a start, I love nature. Look at this, my endangered species mobile. Is this your homework? May I borrow it? I'd like a copy. Why, certainly. Contrast and compare. All Wayne's into is collecting junk. You mean saving things that nobody cares about, like endangered species. No! It's not the same thing at all. I'm sorry, Miss Monkfish, but we simply are not the same. Your theory is wrong. No, it isn't, little boy. My theory is right, and you're little and wrong. Excuse me. Good night, Wayne. Hey! I'm Lucian! What in... Wayne, you Neanderthal! Wayne! Why'd you give Orwell my homework to shred? I did it! Good idea, though. I'll do it next time. Everybody. Why, look, Miss Monkfish, see how bright and breezy I am in the morning? Just look at Wayne, compare. Yes, Lucian, it's lovely to see you both looking so perky. Now we can make an early start on my tests. I assure you, Miss Monkfish, you're going to find absolutely nothing in common between us. Just look at this ink blot and tell me what you see. A dead squashed rat! Okay. And now, what do you see? I see a golden-eared kestrel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which preys on... Small rodents, such as... mice, wolves, rats. Hey! You're distorting the evidence! No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Wayne. That was a very good effort. I'm not Wayne! I'm Lucian! <sighs> we are not the same. We're not the same. We're, we're not. We're not. <laughs> Orwell, 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 no, no. <laughs> got into them this morning. It's simply fascinating. These tests seem to be proving my similarity theories beyond all expectations. Before I go, there's one more thing I need for my project. Could you each draw me a little picture of your feelings? Here you are, Wayne. <laughs> Truck. Thank you, Lucian. Would you mind awfully drawing me another one? We don't want to go and spoil our perfect test results now, do we? Hey. These are perfect. I just need to finish packing and I'll be off. Eco! 
little brat! You let your nasty pet ruin my project, you ungrateful, selfish little... No, fish lady. It was my revenge. Lucian's just a girl pants. He's not like me! I'm wet! Well, well, that's it! I've had it! I'm changing my project topic. I'll change it to... to... to hamsters. And I'll put them in... in, in cages and... and I'll make them do what I want. Did you boys say goodbye to the nice fish lady? Yes, each and all on the way. We did. Caterpillar emerges from its cocoon, transformed into a butterfly. Or a moth, an equally disgusting little creature, but more drab in appearance. Moths. Oh, dear. I thought you loved all living things besides Wayne. I have a slight dislike for moths because... You have something to tell the class? Moths eat knitting. Oh, yes, indeed. In a warm, dark place with plenty of wool, those odious critters can breed like wildfire. Class dismissed. Everybody freeze! I need to give out invitations to my birthday party. First, Wayne, then everybody else. We look forward to seeing you. Presents not required, but eagerly anticipated. <laughs> hey, Wayne, get back my party invitation. I need to eat it. Wayne. But I didn't get one. Oh, well, never mind. No, no, no. I'm sure it was an oversight. We've all been invited to Wendy's party. I'll call Mrs. Winkle to RSVP. <laughs> We'll have to get something very special for her presents. And something very special to wear. Do the boys need their teeth straightened? Wayne, what's wrong? Don't you want your ice cream? It's bad for you. No, I'm not hungry. Oh, I think you're going to make a very special, special escort. <sighs> <laughs> Looks so clean and fresh, I can almost smell the salt air. Free of smog and airborne viruses. Yeehaw! Genuine cobra skin boots, tooled leather vest, and silver buckle and spurs. A vision of frontier manliness. Oh, and look what I got at the toy store next to the Western Wear Shop. That takes care of Wayne's present. Uh. Are you kidding? That dollhouse probably cost more than our house house. We need to impress. After all, Mr. Winkle is your father's boss. This is an investment in our future. I hate the future. I don't want to invest in it. Yeah, I thought the future was all bright and shiny. This stuff is sick. All right, that's enough. This is a rare opportunity. We've been invited right into the Winkles' private family home, and I expect you both to start playing for Team Cramp. <laughs> That's an order. I suppose I could knit Wendy a sweater. Something homemade. Oh, a labor of love. Oh, Lucian, it's perfect. <laughs> Really like her. No way, Mari. I'm knitting an environmental message into this sweater. And once we've infiltrated the home of the Grand Polluter, we can load it with conservationist literature, too. Okay. Good. It's the thought that counts. <laughs>
All right. Hey, wait. We haven't had supper yet. Thank you so much uh, for inviting us, uh, uh, Mr. Winkle. <laughs> Cut the small talk, Cramp. Sorry. Come on and stop touching everything. I hate to lose a set of keys in this house. It's amazing. You can't even see these leaflets once you put them down. It's a form of domestic camouflage. <laughs> I'll cherish that cake right now. Oops, I've ruined it. You have a manly appetite. <laughs> you touch my cake and I'm calling security. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, loyal guests. <gasps> hey, you and Mrs. Cramp are wearing the same dress. I'm sorry. Mrs. Cramp, I didn't know you had such impeccable taste. Yes, and Mr. Cramp has a belt buckle just the right amount smaller than mine. I think we're making a good impression. Daddy, I want to open my presents now. A puppy princess with tiara. Boring. Looks like an old engine block to me. <laughs> but if my little butter knife likes it, that's all that matters. That one's from Lucian. It's the swamp! in my purse. Oh, looky! Those moths done uncovered my ugly chair. Oh! It was supposed to be covered. Never again. Hey! I just found this pro swamp leaflet on the floor. This was nothing but a vicious act of home textile terrorism. Oh. I bet Lucian Crab did it. He's a nature lover. Well, uh, I planted the pamphlets, but I would never use moth violence or exploit any living creature to get my point across. <laughs> it was me! <gasps> Don't you just hate me now? No, Wayne. You knew Lucian was knitting me an ugly sweater that would upset me, so you destroyed it. Oh, Wayne, I think I love you more than ever. Oh, brother. Okay, naked people. Party's over. Get out of my house. Here. Please, take one. The least you can do is read it. Or use them to cover up embarrassing nakedness. You can stay in a cake, sugar brute. I 
Very moth dropping. 